first of all, uh, I'm sorry for my bad English because I'm not much good in English. Uh, all I can say is, uh, we yeah, are happy to see them in, uh, in a final. Uh, I hope the audience will enjoy the uh, game tomorrow. And of course, uh, it will be not easy for both of us. It will be a tough match. Obviously, to try for the the Manusha Doa. Pasha Pashi hoche, gato bolte tadhe hoche. Amader bote onik asha chilo. Je final trophy ta bhi niye jabo. Sheta bolte chila ni bong. Obviously, meja hoche bhalo football khelche. Sheta hoche shosti. E bong deshe Manusha ka chhe to obviously doa bolte. Yeah, ita asha bolte chhe not really, because uh, we have been playing with them uh, so many times. Uh, of course, it's uh, quite challenging for our young girls uh, who are very new in the team. Uh, but uh, I hope uh, it will be a good match. Uh, we will enjoy it. I played for the national team uh, uh, since uh, 2010. So, yeah, of course. And I am happy with this group. Uh, they are playing a really, very good football. Ami, did you India match for the First, we have to support the team. We have to motivate the team. We have to As a person, I have to try to play the game. I have 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 to play the game. No, I see it to be uh, probably an exciting final. Um, I'm sure there will be goals in it. Uh, I think we've sort of come on a bit of a journey, which has been a little bit bumpy, a bit of few speed bumps in the road, but we dusted ourselves down and we keep going. Um, I've got a lot of respect for the for the opposition for Nepal's sort of the way they've gone about it in terms of their unity and their togetherness, which has been exemplary. Um, but I think when it comes down to a final, I think it's about who controls the occasion the best. Sometimes you let, the, you let the occasion control you. You can come up, uh, come, up uh, come up short. So uh, I think there's a lot of a uh, lot of factors involved in that in the game tomorrow. But I, I do believe that if we go about it with the right attitude and the right focus, mentality, um, I think we uh, will 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 give a good account of ourselves. We'll have a little bit of a rain check. Uh, I've checked on the condition this morning and it looks uh, it looks promising. Uh, but we won't do any contact today. It'll be a very light session. Um, um, the grass, the field at the Army Stadium is rock hard, so I don't want to risk in, uh, her inflaming her, her injury. But I think the most important thing is, is it doesn't really matter who's fit, who plays. You know, I can put 11 players out there. We've got such a competitive group now. And uh, for me, that's that's the most that, that's the overriding factor um, is you know whoever we put put out there, and I'm sure they'll give a good account of themselves. And uh, if Sham Shun, if she's, if she's fit, great. Uh, if she's not fit, Shagrita came in and did a great job as well. And we've got replacements, so um, no major drama. No, not really. I think when it gets to finals, I think it's like I said, like I said previously. I think it's all about you know playing in big finals with big crowds and. Used to, used, used, coming from England, we used to like, like sort of red hot atmosphere, especially when you've been brought up at places like Ellen Road and uh, and, and and West Ham. Um, I, I I think it's all about really managing the occasion and not getting too, you know, like I just said to one of the players of the other day. I said, if you get if somebody buys your new boots, don't wear them. Wear your old boots. You know, if you wear pink lipstick, wear pink lipstick, don't put red on. Um, do the simple things, the, you, know, you know, that you always do, you know, the, the normal habits. Um, you know, follow, the, follow that trend. 
let's not like get carried away, keep his feet on the ground, let's stay humble, because humility is actually what's brought us here. Uh, and I really do believe that um, it be all it, tomorrow. It's not. It's not about tactics. It's not about you know being who's the best technical team. I just think it's about who manages the occasion the best and handles the atmosphere because it'd be a great atmosphere. No, I've played in front of big crowds before, and you know it's like riding a bike. You never forget. I think what's more important is um, is how we sort of build our way and work our way into the game, and um, it's all about building a platform, um, building confidence. Um, the crowd that you expect it is going to be a great final, but um, the girls have played in front of vociferous crowds before and big, big crowds. You know, I'm used to it. It doesn't really affect me. Uh, but I think from the girls' perspective, um, they'll, they'll, I'm sure they'll be able to handle it. Well, I think they've played some fantastic football, so I'd like to think so. Um, I've been with them quite a while now, and. Um, I think the most important thing is though when you take you, you, you take over a group and I've I've ripped apart many teams and I've built many teams over the years. I can assure you the most important thing that you need to do is put create a competitive environment. With that comes issues and problems and just normal at any club, whether you're at big clubs or small clubs, you get turnover of players. Um, players adapting to a new style of football. I don't just get it and lump the ball down the pitch. I want us to play through midfield and I want us to play good, exciting, attacking football. Um, and we've shown that. We've shown that against some good sides. You know, and I'd like to think we can, we, you know, we can carry that on tomorrow, but I think what's really important is, it's not so much understanding, you know, you, you've, you've, you've got to have one singer, one song, you know what I mean? You've got to have every, every single person dancing to the same tune. And if people don't follow the, those those tactics, those plans, then it can all come crashing down. But uh, to answer your question, yeah, uh, absolutely. And I think we've proven that. Sometimes it's, there's an old saying, it's about don't drop the parcel over the line, which basically means you've, you've got to finish the job off. And we've come so far, uh, I think, all credit to the girls. I think they've they've really played some scintillating football. But I'd, I I think tomorrow's may, there's going to be times when you have to dig deep and grind it. You know, grind it out, do the dirty work and do the the hard yards. And there's going to be times where you're going to be able to play open, attractive football. Um, sometimes you get caught between a rock and a hard place. And uh, I. I, I won't want us to play any other way. I won't want us to go and, you know, we're not, we, we can't park the bus and defend, you know what I mean, in the low block and we're not that type of team. Um, we will, you know, we take the teams, take the game to teams and and I, 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 really, I strongly believe that's the way to go and I think we've entertained so far. Um, tomorrow if we don't entertain and we get over the line, I'll, still, I'll, be, I'll be just as happy. Uh, I think that the most important thing is, is I, I really do believe that there's, a, there's massive growth going on in, in women's football. And I, to see a crowd of 30,000 people the, you know, the other night in Nepal cheering on a semi-final is a testimony in, in itself. You know, and that doesn't matter whether that would be Bangladesh, Nepal or India. There's huge growth and it's on an upward trajectory. I hope the powers that be see the fruits of, of our labour of, and, and realise that, you know, just ploughing money into men's football, in, in my opinion, is not the way to go. Uh, I think there needs to be some, like, like balance. And because women's football is on a huge, huge growth uh, trajectory in, uh, I think it's great for the game, I think it's great for environments and communities um, and places like Nepal, you know, where traditionally I know a lot of girls are just starting to play football, it's the same in Bangladesh, it's a, in many countries it's, a, it's infancy, but uh, yeah, I hope the powers that be really sort of channel more money into facilities uh, for women's football, girls football, uh, because it has got great growth, it's, it's got, you know, long legs to grow.